I'm not taking over a police department that's broken. Uh, I'm not coming in with some charge to, to change things and fix things. Continuing an ABC 10 exclusive, just hours ago, Troy Bergstrom was sworn in as the new police chief of Roseville. And before he took the oath, he sat down with me. You know, uh, Roseville consistently voted one of the best places to live, really, in the country. Uh, uh, but you, there are some challenges. Uh, violent crime is up. Uh, and when you look at this past year where, where a lot of people were locked up at home together, uh, it led to more family disturbances and it led to more domestic violence. And that's right where that increase in aggravated assaults comes from. Um, and, and it's unfortunate. You know, this has been a hard year on a lot of people. And it's not just the 32% increase in aggravated assaults. The department is also tackling an increase in car thefts. It's the catch-22 of, of Roseville being a safe place and of people feeling safe here. Uh, they don't realize they can still be a victim of a crime. And, and so we we'd put a lot of effort, particularly in our social media, of repeating those messages over and over again. Uh, you know, close your garage door, make sure stuff's not left in your car. And the mental health crisis uh, is really something that people are having challenges with all across our region. Uh, you're really taking some innovative steps to try and tackle it. Uh, we're looking at the possibility of having a crisis team worker assigned in our dispatch center. So right from the very beginning of that call, uh, when the dispatchers realize that, that maybe this is a mental health crisis call, uh, that we can shift it to, to the professional social worker to evaluate what's needed. On some of these calls, there, there is a need for the police to be there. Uh, and on some of them, there's not. The chief tells me he's also testing body cameras to hopefully roll out in the fall. How much will it cost? Uh, it's something we've looked at over the last several years, but they're not cheap. Uh, I think it's important for transparency. I think it's in, important for the, the public to be able to see what we do.